Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie. Please be sure to click the subscribe button and check out my website at selfloveempowers.com. So let's get into the video. So I felt I had to do this topic because I feel like I have experience in this area. I'm the person who always tries to see the good in people. And there can be some danger in that only because when you try to see the good in people, sometimes you let a lot of things slide. So the topic of this video today is the danger of forcing relationships. <sighs> I feel like, you know, this is like, this is a real video. Like, I feel like I'm gonna go back and watch this video for myself too. So have you ever, you know, met somebody you know, whatever, whether you're male, female, whatever, like, have you ever met somebody and just been like, okay, I really like them, I wanna make this work. But like, you know, things would happen. Like, there would be low red flags. Like, God would tell you like, mm, like maybe they weren't good with communication from like the beginning, or they lied to you about something really serious, um, or period, like, just certain little things were there, you know, but you're like, or they, they're not showing as much interest. You're like trying to figure out like, why haven't they called me? What is going on? Da, da, da. Like, but you're like, you know what? Let's make this work. You even start Googling like, oh, like how to make this person like me. How to da, 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 da. like all this stuff because somehow it's just not working out. It's not aligning. But you want this person so bad, so bad that you force it to the point where you're trying so hard to get like a person to even come see you. They, they're like, oh, I'm so, I'm too busy. Oh, I, I don't, you know, like, like they're, maybe they're wishy-washy too, like, which I can't stand. Like one minute, I love you. Next minute, mm, I don't know, I don't wanna talk to you. Like they're wishy-washy, they're showing you all the signs, but you still like, gonna ride this out. We gonna make it. Even though God just told you why, I just told you no, like God blocked it. Like he le legit be blocking stuff and we just be holding on. And how do I know this? Cause I do this. So let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I feel like, you know, we force relationships sometimes cause one, we're lonely. We just want to have someone. Two, we are tired of the dating scene. We just don't want to keep doing this whole process of dating different people, getting to know them. It's like tiring, all of that, you know? And then three, I feel like we just, we're caught up on a feeling. We're attached to a person in an unhealthy way. And so we try to make something work that was not meant to work. I have felt all of those things. And I feel like there's true danger in it because when you try to force relationships that are not supposed to be like that are not for you, you delay your blessings. I have done this. So I know this, you know, I have held on for dear life to relationships and situationships that God has literally said no to a million times. Like I have gone back to things that he told me to never go back to like and I'm not gonna say he literally said go like never go back I don't I don't really feel like God talks to me like where I hear a voice in that way I feel like I'm still learning how God talks to me in different ways but like things I know when something is not what God wants when like it it's like the craziest things happen like it just gets like for example like let's say I'm supposed to go on a date Every, like it gets canceled like five times. I'm like, okay, God does not want me to go. Like clearly it doesn't. It's one thing like, oh, the person was just busy that first time, things happen. Five times though, five times. And then it's like on some crazy stuff. Like, mm, I don't really want to drive across town and see you. Um, what? Like, yeah, you know, gas. Like what? Like, and you're like, okay, like, let's like, no, there's no okay. Don't be so accommodating that people just step on you. You feel me? But yeah, like trying to force something that God is clearly like not on board. You know when something ain't forced, when it's, it just feels free, it's natural. Like you ever meet somebody and it's like the conversation, you're talking to them, it's like five hours, you even realize you've been talking to them for that long. It's like high school time, you on the phone for five hours and you're like, what? 
like what because it was so easy it didn't feel forced you could be yourself you're being awkward all that yes you're being your awkward self and nobody's like whoa she's awkward they're like laughing with you appreciate every little ounce about you that's when it's not forced when you're in alignment with god you know when you're in alignment with god because doors just be opening not saying there's no struggle but like it just it happens people are like how did you even get that like you didn't even apply god because when you're in alignment with god when you seek the kingdom doors start to open and i see it and i'm seeing it now you know what i mean like i'm telling you like so when i know like before like and when I say before that could be last week like just kidding like before I will hold on to something so bad like it would literally we would have fights relationships we have fights um really bad ones or lies would be involved like all these red flags but I would just be like no let's try to work it out like I could I'm, I'm, I'm with someone that don't want kids but I want kids and I'm like no we can work this out like, well, for, how do you work that out? You don't, because you're trying to force someone to be on the same page as you. And I feel like one thing that should never be forced is love. I feel like love is a choice, like legit a choice. And I feel like that's the type of love I want. I don't want a controlling, you told me what to do type of love. I want the love to feel so free. Like, it's like, you, like if you're in a relationship with somebody and it feels forced, like, or if it feels like you're trapped Sorry, if you're in a relationship with someone and it feels like you're trapped, like you don't feel free, you're in a wrong relationship. I don't think you're supposed to feel trapped or not free in a relationship. I feel like you're supposed to feel um, completely free to be yourself. And that is when the, the love is real, is when two people have chosen on their own to love the other person, to sacrifice, like, like you out here, maybe on a line trying to get like tickets for somebody that you don't even like the the, the artist but you're doing it because not because the person asked you because you love this person you're like what the hell am i doing you in love boo boo and it's real why because it's not force it's not force you naturally just want to do those things for that person so when you try to force relationships not only do you delay your blessings but you also like you could also miss out on your blessing like and look if it's for you it's for you I just think that that again won't it delays it doesn't mean that you'll never have the blessing it just means that you might not be ready for it as like when you thought you would be ready for it you know what I mean so and then on top of that you waste your time you know how much time I have wasted on situationships relationships people that literally if I had paid attention and was listening to the sign like pay attention to the signs I would have been like curve like listen and I will say the older you get the more you experience these things and the closer you get to God the more you will like be like nope you're saying it nope and it's not like just from like a bad feeling or whatever it's legit you see the signs up front and instead of ignoring them because you're lonely and you want someone you're like, nope, God got me. So look, I'm not saying I don't get attached. You know, like I do get attached, but I have a better sense of attachment now. Like my level of attachment is not as, un not as not unhealthy like it was when I was younger. When I was younger, I felt like I was, I needed to be with um, this particular person. Like I needed it like I needed it. It was a false truth I told myself. And so the moment I lost that person, I felt like I had nothing. It's, it's, it's unhealthy. When you attach yourself to certain things, that's where I think a lot of suffering comes from. And that's why you're not supposed to do that because that even doing that makes something or someone else an idol, which God does not want. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you are unattached to things, if someone you're talking to someone and they just stop calling you, they try to ghost you, you're not like, oh my God, where are they? What are they doing? Blowing them up. You're like, okay okay like you accept things and you're able to move forward and live your life you know what i'm saying i i feel like in recent months like i have like literally got caught up on someone 
and then it didn't work out and I'm like crying but I cried for like two days like I didn't stay there like I was just like you know what what's for me is for me I don't have to do that so when you know that you won't force relationships because forcing relationships one it also can create soul ties because you can end up being physical with someone who is not your husband I feel like I have struggled with soul ties so I understand you know like it's a deep thing it's a dangerous thing it keeps you um stuck in a relationship that you are not supposed to be in like you're holding on to something because you just want something when really sometimes there's something you hold on to is nothing compared to what God has for your life so you delay blessings you waste time <laughs> you can get really hurt like really get a broken heart from it holding on to something that you're not supposed to hold on to in the first place like god's like i didn't even give this to you but why are you holding on to this for dear life i have this for you over here so yeah that is the danger of forcing relationships i felt like i had to talk about this because i have forced relationships like i have held on to things like <laughs> like i needed it like air and it just caused me heartache and it was a waste of my time and now that I am more aware um, of who I am in Christ, getting closer to God, and just aware of myself. So my camera just decided to stop recording. I have no idea why. But anyway, yeah, like once you have a healthy sense and you understand that you do not need to be attached to anything, um, and you trust God with your life, like truly have a certain type of faith unwavering faith which i'm struggling with and I'm, I'm working on it but once you get to that place it gets easier and you it will hurt less and less and you'll let it go and what's for you will just come like you will have that relationship um that you're supposed to have that's right for you at the right time when you don't force it because that's the best type of relationship a relationship that comes to you freely that's natural and organic, not forced. That's the relationship that lasts. Because when you try to force something um, and someone does something because they just want to make you happy as opposed to doing it because they genuinely want to, not only will they have resentment, but they're not truly convicted, which would result in them possibly not being truly faithful or really devoted to the relationship. And I want a relationship with someone who is devoted who chooses me on their of their own volition with no forcing anything like that that's a truly beautiful relationship so i hope that you enjoyed this video please be sure to check out my website at selfloveempowers.com and connect with me on social media thank you guys for watching bye guys